morning. <laughs> this is a documentary you made? <laughs> None of this is usable. <laughs> We're here for Robin's overnight camping clinic. I'm a little nervous. I hope I don't get too cold. Uh, yeah, yeah. Snow, 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 snow! <laughs> oh, no. oh no, oh no, oh no, it's deep in that front. No, 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 you're spinning in the front. So we're stuck in the parking lot. You ready? Oh yeah. We're free. Welcome to the mountains, <laughs> as always happens. I think we're here. Guess we'll go up that. Just like point anywhere on that map and that's pretty much where we're going. For me, my very first night winter camping was awful. I was wet, cold, didn't have the right gear, and I really would have loved to just have one night out with somebody who kind of could like guide me and help me figure out how to do that so that it was a positive experience. So that was the point of creating this clinic is really to help people fall in love with being outside overnight. It opens up a whole new world. Oh my, what a zone. We have arrived at our honey hole. This is the camping honey hole. You have a little meadow. And we've sent all of the participants out to find the best spot to pitch their tent. MTV, welcome to my soon to be crib. Every time you go, you learn something new or get more efficient. And that's kind of like the fun of it. It never gets boring. Oh, that's insane. She showed me a cool trick with the winter tents to make sure it doesn't blow away. I packed my tent bag with snow wrapped it up with guy strings, and then you bury it in the snow and then your tent will not go away. It was an easy way to like secure stuff. You can do I didn't really get into the outdoors until I moved out here like two years ago. Um, I was a big couch potato before then. I do have to constantly remind myself though that people have been doing this since they're growing up and I'm like 25 and learning all my hobbies. But I do have big goals. The beauty of camping is you really get to spend time with people and like vulnerable time. There's no distractions. There's nothing else to do but like have face-to-face -face conversations with people. That is what I love about it. There's just zero distractions so people get to actually connect like real time. <laughs> I'm in a band called Fish Hook. Yeah, we had a Fish Hook concert in the backcountry. We had a full set, lead singer, just like went for it. That was some brilliant shit singing. <laughs> Scooby Doo, we do we motherfucking do now? Scooby Doo, where are you? Musical break. <laughs> <laughs> We've been playing in my basement for like 15 years. But finally, we're getting out there a bit and people are receptive. I, I feel like we have something. Okay, we survived the night. We got coffee. Now we're actually gonna go tread. The beauty of the Academy and these kinds of clinics is we help people have a positive experience their first time. Oh, pretty good. Yeah, 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 Sean. Oh! My Academy experience has been amazing. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's been a rad couple days getting to connect with new individuals, stepping out of my comfort zone in new ways that I thought I never would. I'm kind of stoked on winter camping now. That's sunny. There's just something about being camping and in the backcountry in a way, when you remove all those layers and all your electronics, it's very, very life-changing, those moments. Oh man, that was fun. <laughs>